Hello everyone and welcome back to Live a Little. This week I have the privilege of having a guest speaker, Hope Yoder. Some of you might know her, some of you might not, but she is going to go ahead and show us today how to use the sticky printable template from Embellish. I wanted to talk about the sticky printable template from Embellish. And here's a project that we did a live video from. A sticky printable template is paper that you're gonna print in your laser or inkjet printer. And once you've printed it on the correct side, we're gonna use the quilter select rulers to match up the line on the ruler with the template line to cut it down to reduce the empty space. So you're gonna do that on all four sides. Now this template is to help you align your embroidery on a garment or in this case we're making a pillow using the camping silhouette cd so i've got my template ready i've pieced together some beautiful roses and arrows fabric on my machine and now i'm ready to take this template that i've trimmed down and i have my hoop um, my fabric in the hoop and just to show you what this template looks like it is a sticker and so I'm going to peel off the sticker after I've trimmed it and I'm going to just eyeball it and stick it in the visual center of this part of the quilt block. Now this template is reusable and in a bit you'll see what we do with that. So we're going to finger press it down and then we're going to go ahead and place our hoop on their embroidery machine. This is repositionable, which is great. If you don't get it where you want it the first time, lift it off and seat it again. Now I'm gonna pick my threads and I'm gonna use our matte 40 weight thread. I've got my machine hooped and then I'm going to align everything. Now you can see this is stuck down and so I'm gonna use whatever features I have on my machine. On this particular machine, I have a camera. So I'm going to scan the hoop so that I can see that sticker. And then from that step, I'm just going to simply move the design so the sticker and the design on my machine match up. Now I could be using my positioning arrows like you see here just to get the needle over the center of the crosshair on the sticker. Now that I have it placed perfectly, I'm going to remove the template and place it back on the waxy side of the carrier sheet and then I can use this again if I want to. I usually stick these in paper bags. Now before I embroider this I'm going to use the embellish rinse away clear topper to add as a spacer so that my matte thread doesn't sink down into the fabric and when I'm all done I'll simply tear away the excess topper. So now that I've got this done, I'm ready to make my quilt sandwich and I am in love, like obsessed with this new Quilter Select Precision Ruler. It's made for a long arm sit down machine or a domestic machine that's set up for free motion. And I got to be honest, I don't really know how to um, use this other than I can use any markings I want. So I just kind of made random marks and you can see I'm pivoting. And I make sure I keep the, uh, the presser foot against the ruler. And it's a nice six millimeter ruler. And I just continue to quilt around. So again, this Quilter Select long arm ruler is for a long arm machine or a domestic sit down machine. And here's what my finished pillow top looks like. I love this.